Hi, today I want to show you how I um, unclog my print head. Um, after not printing for about a month, um, came back every time I did about a hundred nozzle um, checks, um, print head cleanings. I did about a hundred of those. The lines, when I did the, the nozzle check, no lines started showing up. Um, so I did one on YouTube and I saw a guy that says that the heads are clogged a lot of times. Um, so here's my method of what I did to unclog my heads because now um, my printer is printing and I'm just happy I don't have to buy another one. Um, what I did, I first um, took a paper towel and I folded it in three. And that way, because we're going to place it down here in here and it's gonna have to fit then what I did um, I got the syringe um, of course it didn't have the needle in the YouTube video that I saw they had like the long straw that had it I didn't have that I just had this so this is what I use um, I put um, half alcohol and half water in a cup and then what I did is um, filled it up to about two what is that milliliters there so um, now, right now, the printer is um, off. So I'm going to shut it on. You know, when it comes on, it's going to do this whole little thing. It's going to slide it slide over here. And then what we want to do is stop it. It's going to give you a jerk, so you better watch it. Ugh. So we want to stop it right there. Okay? And then what I did is just place the paper towel right here. But what I'm going to do is make sure the paper towel is here. And then now, because this is easy... I can push it kind of over the paper towel, making sure the paper towel is flat. It don't crinkle or anything like that. I'm trying to hold the camera and hold this at the same time. Okay, so as you see, I was able to push that over the paper towel. And then what I did, if you notice, the paper towel is right here in the corner. So then I'm going to take this and then pull it over just about right there then what I did is um, open this what I first did um, what I learned to to if you feel like there's um, air or anything in these vent holes what I first did is I stuck this in here and then I went ahead and pulled it up well once you stick that in if you can see that vent hole right there I went ahead and stuck this in there and then I went ahead and once you pull it up and then push it down, you're like flushing the ink that's in the head, you're flushing it through. Okay, so from there, that still didn't work. So what I end up doing is I took out all of my cartridges. Right now, guys, I'm only going to take out one. I don't want to take them all out, um, but each every time you take each one of them out, for each color, it has this little nozzle thing here, if you guys can see it. And what it is, is under the cartridge. So if you see that there. So what I did from there with the alcohol, that was a little too, and make sure that your paper towel is under there. I went ahead and just stuck my syringe and I just pushed down. And what that did is it unclogged the little heads that was in there and it was able to see we'll go through the alcohol was able to sit there and absorb um absorb whatever that was in there um i did i let it sit overnight after i did each one of them like this i did um the syringe with the two and i filled it. i did it about twice and then i let it sit the next day i did go and i did a print head cleaning um the lines started to show i was so excited um and then I, I did about four or five nozzle checks after that. Um, and then I did one more head uh, print head cleaning and then about a couple more nozzle check and then it was ready. So I hope this was, um, this helps. Good luck.